I'm about to turn my camera off and go take a nap. I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> hey guys, what is up and welcome back. Today is gonna be a super chill video. I'm gonna be testing out a ton of brand new makeup. All the stuff that I have in front of me right now is stuff that I hauled in my Sephora haul in my last video. So if you haven't seen that yet, I will link that video down below for you guys. I'm just gonna get right into this video and start off with my face. So to prime my face, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible matte lock mattifying primer. I didn't get this in my Sephora haul. Obviously this is from the drugstore, but I haven't tried this yet and I'm pretty sure this is a new primer. It was on the new page on Ulta at least, but I'm really excited to try this because it is a matte primer. So since I am oily, I'm always on the hunt for a new matte primer to use. Oh, I might've used a little bit too much. This feels very silicone-y. Also feels really, really soft too. Does feel a little bit greasy. Hope you guys don't mind the attire today. It's just really cold in my house right now, so I had to put a sweatshirt on. But for foundation today, I'm using the Dior Dior Skin Forever Foundation. I'm really, really excited to try this out. A lot of people rave about this foundation and say it's their holy grail. I did swatch this in my Sephora haul and it did look really dark, but I did just self tan, so I'm pretty dark right now. Hopefully this works on me, but it also did oxidize pretty bad on my hand. You could probably see in the video, it turned kind of like really dark and orangey, but this is a really pricey foundation. So I am just praying that it actually works for me. So I'm just gonna dot this around. It does look pretty dark, but that's okay. And I'm blending this out with my L'Oreal sponge. By the way, the shade I got is 035. Okay, so, so far it looks really pretty on the skin. Like the finish of it looks really nice. The shade actually doesn't look too dark at all. It actually matches my body pretty well right now. It definitely has a fragrance. It smells like, I don't know, but it has like a really florally smell, which I don't really mind, but sometimes I just don't like wearing anything scented on my skin, especially this really strong because I do have pretty sensitive skin. So a lot of scents tend to break me out. I don't know if this is supposed to be medium coverage or full coverage, but um, on the bottle it just says everlasting wear and pore refining effect. And it definitely looks really, really pretty on my skin right now. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more and see if I can build this up to cover up my blemishes. Wow, look at how dark that got on my hand. Okay, so it definitely was buildable. It is kind of bunching up a little bit almost right here. This is the only place that I'm noticing it. I don't know if that's because of the primer. Not completely sure, but it's only happening right in my, are these my smile lines? Yeah, my smile lines. But yeah, so besides this little situation happening right here, I think it looks really nice. I actually think I'm gonna do a full separate video on this foundation and doing a wear test on it because a lot of people have been requesting that I do that foundation. Okay, moving on. Now we're gonna try concealer. And this is the brand new Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I've been wanting to try this for so long. I cannot wait. I got the shade Light Warm. I probably should have gotten a light neutral because light warm is really light. And since I am pretty dark right now, this is gonna be like white on me. I think this packaging is so freaking cute. It's like a mini version of the All Nighter Foundation. So this is a waterproof full coverage concealer. Also, the foundation doesn't feel like it has completely dried down yet. It's a little bit sticky. Just letting you guys, oh my gosh, it's so light. Mm, wow. Okay, that's okay. We'll just, we'll work with it. This may end in a disaster. I'm also going to spot conceal over this pimple right here. It's, I mean, spot concealing doesn't really work when the concealer is like 10 shades lighter than your skin like it is right now, but I do wanna see how it covers. I feel like this is a concealer that you definitely have to work with fast because I can already see that it's drying on my skin, so just keep that in mind. Yeah, it's definitely kind of like drying really fast. You can kind of see, usually when a concealer or foundation doesn't dry really fast, it's really easy to spread around. And this is definitely um, kind of like sticking on to where it dried, so it's making it a little bit harder to blend out. Obviously, when I'm not filming and talking, I'll be able to blend it out a lot quicker. The coverage is definitely there though. Yeah, look at this is dry. Do you guys see this? Okay, next time I try this, I'm gonna have to work in 
sections. If I were you, I would do one eye at a time, then do the other eye, then do your forehead and work with it like that because I am honestly blown away by how fast this is drying. Oh, geez. This is, this is a struggle right now. Like pouncing over this so much that it's actually starting to take up the foundation. I don't know what to do right now. This is not gonna work. So I am going to actually take off my makeup and start completely over because I really wanna give this a fair shot and it's not working right now. I don't know if you guys can see this line right here. I can still see this. I just know this is not gonna budge and it's starting to pick up the foundation and it's looking really, really patchy. Let's hope this works out better the second time around. <laughs> Ooh, look at how red this is making my face. I hate, hate is a very strong word, but I hate these makeup wipes. These are the Equate just makeup remover cleansing towelettes and I do not like them at all. They have a really strong fragrance. They irritate my skin a lot. Like they make me super red and they burn the hell out of my eyes. Just a little story there. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. This time I'm only gonna put the primer on half of my face just because I wanna see if that was the reason why it was clumping up right here. So I'm just gonna put it on this half. Start with one pump. Yeah, one pump is like nothing. So we'll do two pumps. <laughs> okay, so I don't think it was the primer that was making it do that because I'm kind of seeing, it's not like clumping up this time. I feel like my pores are just a little bit enhanced right here, a little bit more enhanced than normal. I don't know if I'm just having like a bad skin day or what is going on. Yum, this is my first time trying this flavor of these protein bars, these are the Quest bars. This one's in the flavor Rocky Road and it is so good. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm gonna start on my forehead and blend this out right away. Okay, much, much easier. The nose. So I'm just gonna put two lines beneath my eyes and then immediately go in to start blending that out. Yeah, it's already grabbing again, do you see that? And it's picking up the foundation again. I don't get what is going on. To be honest, I don't even know if this is meant to be put underneath your eyes or like all over your face. It might even be just for covering up like spot concealing. I didn't even read on the website. Probably should have done that, but maybe that's why this is giving me such a hard time. But I did see other people in their videos using this all over too. So I don't really get it. Okay, I'm gonna stop messing with it because I feel like the more I try and blend it out, the worse it's getting. So I'm gonna set my eyes super quick before the creasing gets too bad to where it's unfixable. And I'm using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. I also didn't have a setting powder that I hauled. So I hope you guys don't mind that I'm using this. It does say this is a baking powder, so I will be baking. I always bake everywhere that I get really oily, which is my T-zone and then my under eyes. So that's what I'm doing right now. Wow, I look crazy. I haven't baked in months, you guys. And then we'll let this sit on for about five to 10 minutes. While I do that, I'm gonna work on my eyebrows. And since I don't have a new eyebrow pencil, I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is in the shade medium brown. I'm just gonna do this off camera because this takes me forever. So I will be right back. Okay, so I just filled in my eyebrows, cleaned up the bottoms of them with NARS Creamy Concealer, and then primed my eyelids with Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know if you guys can see on camera what this powder is doing, but it's almost like, you know, when you wear a mud mask and you can see like the stuff coming out of your pores, that's what it looks like. Like, do you see all these little dots on my, ch at literally my pores? I, I am so confused right now what is happening. Look at this, you guys. It is so weird. I don't understand. Even on all of my pores right here, I have never in my life seen anything like this. Clearly some things that are together on my face just aren't working together. It's not the primer because both sides look the same. By the way, it's been like over 10 minutes now, so this should be ready to dust off. Thank God it dusts off and you can't see the little dots though. I spoke too soon. I'm about to turn my camera off and go take a nap. I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> you guys, my under eyes look so bad. My chin looks fine. My forehead looks 
drier than a desert. The foundation is coming off. My under eyes look drier than I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I'm just gonna move on because I'm getting way too annoyed right now. I am going to bronze up and I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs 102 Tantric Bronzer. This is massive. It's like the size of my head and I hear so many people talking about this. So I've been wanting to try this out for a while now. I'm using an Anastasia A19 brush, picking up a little bit and tapping off the extra. Wow, I love that color. It's so pretty. It's super like warm. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more cool tone because it kind of looks like that in the pan, but I think this looks really pretty. We're gonna use the Tarte Park Ave Princess Contour Palette. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. You have a lot of contour shades to work with. I'm gonna start with the lightest shade, which is called Carrot. I really like this shade. Honestly, even that lightest shade is pretty dark. Like I'm gonna have to buff this out even, but since I'm so dark right now and that came out pretty dark, this probably won't work on like a Nikki tutorials kind of skin, but I do really, really like the shade of it. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to blush and I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek stick. I have the shade Perk and it's a really pretty bright coral shade with a little bit of like a gold sheen to it. Very, very lightly tap this onto my cheeks because I don't want to mess up my makeup since I already powdered it. Oh, this is really cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at it. It gives such a nice like glow to my cheek. Can you guys see that? Mm, it smells Really, really good too. It smells like mango. Cute, I love this. This is gonna be so pretty for the summertime. Okay, I got a little carried away and I think I used a little bit too much, but I still really like the way this looks, especially this cheek. Okay, moving on, let's do highlight now. So I'm gonna highlight with this Makeup Forever highlighter. This one right here, I don't remember what the number of this was though, but I'm gonna, I'll look online and I'll put it up on the screen what number it was. Ooh, so pretty. And I'm just using an Anastasia A23 brush. Wow. Wow, that's really pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose too and then underneath my eyebrows. Now I'm gonna move on to my eyes, which I'm so excited about because I have the Violet Boss Pro Hashtag Palette. It looks like this. It is so pretty. I love these tones. Like I said, in my Sephora haul, oranges and purples are my favorite shades to wear on my eyes. So I'm gonna be playing around with this a little bit. I'm also gonna be playing around with this Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Starlight. These are the new Shimmer and Glow eyeshadows. And then I also think I wanna play around with a little bit of this glitter. If you guys want me to do like an actual dedicated tutorial on this palette, let me know down in the comments and I can for sure do that. Okay, so the first shade I'm gonna use is Sauce. That's this shade right here. Ooh, I have hiccups. This is a Morphe M504 brush. So far the shade isn't super pigmented, but I kind of like that because I don't always wanna go in with too much and then it'd be too hard to blend out. It is blending really nicely though. Okay, I'm just gonna keep using the same brush and I'm gonna take the shade Savage right here and warm that up a little bit, add some orange in there. Super, super pretty shade too. Okay, I'm actually gonna take a purple shade now and I'm gonna put that below the orange shade so it's gonna be kind of like a sunset. And I'm gonna use the shade TBT right here. This color is super bright. This is really pretty. By the way, this is a Morphe R38 brush I'm using right now. I hope you guys can see this, but there's a line right here that is not going away. It's like a line where the eyeshadow just isn't sticking right here. It usually never happens to me. I'm gonna take the Stila one now and I'm gonna work on my lid shade. This is in the shade Starlight. So I'm just gonna swipe this on my lid. Ooh. Yeah, this is really pretty. I really like this. It's a little bit harder to work with than the glitter versions of these seal ones. I'm gonna keep my eyes like this so it doesn't like crease. 
um, until it dries, but it does look really pretty. I feel like you do need to go over it like a couple more times for sure though, because it's not um, as opaque as her other ones. Um, I'm gonna take TBT again, put this in my outer corner. So I'm just overlapping the cream shadow a little bit with this just to kind of like blend it together so it kind of looks like a half cut crease. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of this glitter to the very inner parts, just cause I wanna see what this glitter looks like cause it looks so pretty in the tube. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna put some glitter glue on the back of my hand. This is the Too Faced glitter glue. And then patting that on my lid. You can't even really see what it's reflecting on camera, I'm noticing, but it is definitely looking like orange, peachy. I think I still like this side a little bit better though. I feel like I shouldn't have done this. Okay, so that's what the glitter looks like. You can kind of see the peachy tones of it. And hopefully you can see the shade of the Stila cream glitter or shadow underneath it, which is really pretty. I'm gonna try this Smashbox Always On Gel Liner Eyeliner Gel. This isn't new, but I've never tried this before and I have a sample size of it. I don't think it's as black as my Marc Jacobs one, but it's nice and creamy, which I like. Sorry, there's like glitter and dog hair floating around everywhere and just sticking to my face. Okay, so I'm gonna try the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. Again, nothing really ever compares to my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, so it's hard for me to like. Ugh, today is not my day. This definitely is lengthening the lashes. I like the wine that it has too, because it's really stiff. Now I'm gonna go put some lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just popped some lashes on and these lashes are from my lash line, Euphoria by Jazzy. Hasn't launched yet, but it will be very soon. And then I also put some lipstick on and this is in the shade Salt Life by Tarte. I love, love, love the shade so much. Last thing I have to do is setting spray and I have the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. So I mentioned in my haul that I wanted to get an illuminating setting spray and I just wanted one for when I wear like a really matte foundation if it's too matte on me. I wanted to try and see if a dewy or an illuminating setting spray would like give me that dewy effect without making me oily. So that was kind of why I decided to get this one. But everybody in the comments said to shake this really, really well because there is like glitter in it, which I did not know that. So I'm gonna shake it up super good. I'm gonna actually spray on my hand first. Oh, weird. There is glitter in here. Like tiny, tiny little specks, but it's definitely there. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm definitely glowing. <laughs> oh yeah, there's glitter. From a distance, I feel like my skin looks healthy, but there's glitter like in my eyebrows and on my eyelashes. You guys can see it in my eyebrows too. You know what would actually be really pretty though? This on your body. So I might actually just keep this and use this for my body. And why does, this mascara is like crumbling off, I feel like. I've had to wipe off little dots like six times. Okay, so that is going to complete this video. I am stressed out to the max right now. I just feel like, oh my. What more could possibly go wrong? My microphone was just sitting on the floor that whole time. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this right now. Anyways, what I was saying is that, that completes this video. Thank the Lord I'm done. I just feel like I get so stressed out when things don't work out, especially when I'm filming. Thank you guys so much for watching this video though. I'm sure it's gonna be a really long one again. And I'm sorry that my videos have been kind of long lately. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this one a thumbs up if you did. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.